Today's question is how do you set up subscriptions on Squarespace? Now, if you have taken a look at Squarespace within the last few months, you've noticed that there is a brand new feature that allows you to sell subscriptions. However, you don't have access to this ability unless you're paying for events commerce, which can be $40 a month if you pay annually. And if you pay monthly, well, that's gonna go up to $46 a month. Now for most bootstrappers starting out trying to keep expenses low, that extra $20 just to be able to sell subscriptions may be a little too steep. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up a subscription for free using the app Payhip. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel, you remember that I use Payhip to sell my eBooks, my bootstrap guides, the bootstrapper's guide to launching and the bootstrapper's guide to affiliate marketing. And I placed those eBooks on Payhip for $9.99. However, there's more to Payhip than just selling digital products. You can also use it to set up memberships and subscriptions. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes, my newest subscription called the Bootstrap Support Group. So when I started using Payhip, I actually put my 14 page ebook, The Bootstrapper's Guide to Launching on the site. The main reason why was because Payhip can be used for free. They simply charge the credit card processing fees and take out a small percentage when they send you your money via PayPal. And I liked using Payhip because it gave me a link that I could place on my website, connected to a button, connected to a hyperlink, and people could easily check out. Within Squarespace, sometimes it gets hard because the digital downloads do go away after 24 hours. But with this, I was able to easily put that description. People can click on buy now, and it immediately pops up a screen asking for their credit card information and it sends them the PDF directly. So all of that is automated. And so I really liked being able to use Payhip for that ability. And so I put the Bootstrapper's Guide to Launching and the Bootstrapper's Guide to Affiliate Marketing on the same site. So when you create a Payhip account, they're going to give you a little landing page. And if you take the time to make really nice thumbnails, this is the link to your Payhip store. So if you just want to connect a store link on your Squarespace site to Payhip, you can do that. But what I ran into recently was the idea that some topics really need to be discussed in a longer conversation. I try to keep my YouTube videos around 10 to 15 minutes long, but for certain things, when I'm walking you through step-by-step step how to do something, I really want more than just 15 minutes. I also think that during this time, we really could use some support, a safe place to vent and a safe place to learn. So I didn't want to create a Facebook group. I didn't want to create a course. I simply wanted to charge people a monthly rate to spend time with me in a group setting. So the first 30 minutes, we'll hop onto a YouTube live video. And that way, as people continue to replay it afterwards, it does generate some passive income. And after we do the 30 minutes of instruction, then we're gonna hop over to Zoom to network with each other face-to-face -face in a Zoom call. So that way I don't have to worry so much about the chat on YouTube Live. And it's kind of a way to do a very fluid webinar setting that's way more approachable. And so what I did is I set up the subscription within Payhip itself. And so instead of it looking like the checkout page for my ebook, you can see where you have plan options. And I'll take you behind the scenes to show you the different options that you can plug in. But all you would do is create your name, email address, set a password for your account, and then you would decide what you want the plans to be. Then they put in their card number and their shipping address, agree to the terms and sign up. What I also love about Payhip is if you have other resources within your Payhip account, you can say, my members who pay for this, go ahead and throw in a free ebook. So I threw in the Bootstrapper's Guide to Launching to anyone, or I believe it launching or affiliate marketing. I threw in one of these as a bonus to people who signed up and it was super easy to do that. So that is how I did the checkout process. 
Now, when I hopped over to Squarespace, the actual page where people will go for content is just a password protected page, just like my VIP vault. So I restyled my VIP vault login screen and I created a password just for that page. And so once people log in, they'll see that the group starts on August 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I chose that because I have some followers who live on the West Coast, and that way they're way more likely to be able to come. You can click on this button to join the Zoom call, and then you're able to see, okay, this is what we're going to be talking about this month. On August 12th, we're gonna talk about email marketing, and on August 26th, we're gonna talk about affiliate marketing. If people have questions, they can just click and submit their questions through that page on my website. And then I put the information about the Zoom call at the bottom. And so I was able to create a very simple subscription on my website without upping my Squarespace uh, pricing every month, going up to an advanced commerce plan instead of the business plan I'm on now. Now, the last thing is a little sales page. I created a very simple sales page, again, on my Squarespace site. I made a little graphic in Canva that I was able to repurpose. I put a description about what people could expect. I told them that we will be talking about, you know, MailChimp form errors on Squarespace, Flowdesk account setup, and how to get ConvertKit for free. Then I'll be walking through my literal affiliate marketing strategy. And so between the sales page, the actual login for the members, and the payment collection in Payhip, I was able to set up a subscription for free within my Squarespace site. So this has 100% profit margin. It will generate recurring income for my business and it's super, super easy to execute. So I really love using Payhip to do these types of things. Like I said, you can use it to deliver your digital products or you can use it for your memberships. Now, if I log out of my Payhip account, let's click here. You'll see this on the homepage where your digital downloads, memberships, and uh, payment collection is all there. So when you log into your Payhip account, you're going to be given three options, a digital product, a physical product, or a subscription billing. I don't mess around with physical products because I don't wanna have that stuff lying around, but if you do in your business, if you have something small, like a physical book or a physical item that matches with your brand, some merch, then you can use the physical product. And so you're able to put digital, physical, and subscriptions within the same Payhip account for free. As you process more, you may want to move up to a paid account. When you click on subscription billing, you put in all that information, your title, your description, you add an icon image, and then you decide on your plans. So you choose the amount, you decide on the interval, you can do monthly, three months, six months, yearly, or do something custom put a little description. You can even offer a free trial if you want people to have a 14 day free trial to your subscription. You can also assign products to your subscribers. So this is what I was referring to earlier. I said, okay, as people sign up, go ahead and throw in a free copy of this ebook and they get that in their email when they check out. You can also click on advanced options to add your own header image, automatically subscribe them to a mailing list, or for your subscriber download area, you can group assign products for this subscription into collections. So if you have a ton of items that you are granting access to for those people who subscribe, you can click on this once you do the drop down under advanced options. Payhip is an awesome way for you to sell your physical products, your digital products, and your subscriptions. You can start using it for free if you agree to let them take out a 5% transaction fee on top of the credit card processing. As you start to process more payments, if you want to lower that fee from five to 2%, then you can bump up to plus. And if you do a pro account, they will completely eliminate the transaction fee. You will have access to all the features, unlimited products, and you'll be able to generate unlimited revenue. Again, I use Payhip to sell my eBooks and in the end of this video, I'll make sure that I link to that video to show you how I make an eBook and sell it using Payhip, Squarespace, Canva, and 
below desk. Thanks so much for stopping by 30 Days of Apps. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you know when I've uploaded the next video in this series. My name is LaShonda, and this is Bootstrap Biz Advice, where I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. If you need help with your website, click on the link in my description to check out my Squarespace Expert Designer profile. You can also gain access to my resource library for free by clicking on the link in my description. Until next time, ta-ta for now.